Hi everyone, I'm Andrea and I'm with my daughter Isabel and you are in our Yellow Wellies garden. This is our square foot garden that we've been working on over the summer um, and we wanted to talk a little bit about harvesting your vegetables. Um, it can actually be quite tricky to get this right and often you have a really small window of when to harvest. Um, you want to get the optimum amount of nutrients in your food so to do it at the correct time is really um, important and that's another reason why um, getting foods that have been transported long distances aren't as healthy because they're not always picked when they're ripe. So we're going to pick some um, beetroots and some turnips and I just want to show you, you want to pick them when they're about the size and shape of what shape are they? Golf ball. A golf ball, yeah. If they get a bit big like a tennis ball um, you'll find that their taste is a little bit um, or their texture is a bit more woody so which is fine you don't want to waste it but you might it might mean that you have to cook it for longer. Okay. Also remember your beetroot leaves to save these because you can eat them, put them in a salad, or saute them. Okay, there's your turnip. Okay, about the size of a golf ball, loosen it up first. Okay, and just simply tug. Okay, give it a shake, and that is the perfect size of turnip. There you go. Do you want to show everybody? Yay, so that's your, your turnip. peas and beans. Broad beans, um, you'll know when they're ready to harvest because they're nice and thick. And so you want to pick the ones at the bottom first, they'll be ready. And then towards the top, those ones will be ready later. What I've done with ours is I've cut the tops off and that tells your broad beans to stop growing taller and to put energy into um, developing the fruits. Oh. Okay, what do we know about scissors, Isabel? No cutting your help. No cutting yourself. Or cutting a hole in your pants. Make sure you're using scissors with a, an adult around. And you can just pull them off or cut them off. <gasps> you're going to do something okay with me. I got green, I got green. That's perfect. What? They don't want to peel skin off. <gasps> They're, the skin's a bit bitter, so you, you can peel them off. If you cut them off, it's a bit easier if you cut them in half. Yeah. Now, we're also harvesting our mange too. Um, these are our peas. You can let them grow to full peas and harvest the peas. But if you pick them this size when they're nice and thin, you get your mange too and you can eat the skin as well. If they get too big, the skin is a bit fibrous and you can't really eat it. Okay, I like the size of the mange too. Just remember, the more you pick, the more flowers they'll produce and then the more, um, the more fruit they'll get. It's against the log. <laughs> and what happens to your tongue when you eat these? Purple tongue. <laughs> okay, kind of fun. They're really healthy for you. Another one is lettuce. So we've been harvesting quite a lot of lettuce and we've been just picking off the bottom leaves. <laughs> um, but this one, you, it's starting to shoot up. So it's growing a stem. And this time of year, it wants to make flowers and uh, seeds. Once they do that, the taste of the leaves won't be as good. So this one is about to bolt, so I just took the whole thing and we're gonna eat that. We're gonna eat that tonight. Okay. Okay, another exciting thing to harvest is, what are these? Is These are your potatoes. So obviously these aren't gonna grow a whole lot more. They've turned yellow. Um, they flowered, it's just the end of their life cycle. Um, and so this is when to pick them. You might find that they get blight. These ones are okay, um, but if you've got potato leaves and they've got lots of black spots on it, that's a fungus. What to do is to cut the whole leaves down to the bottom and try and prevent the blight going to your potatoes. Count how many we have, that would be fun. <gasps> you see them? Give it a little shake. Quite close to the space. Some of them are falling over and not so healthy, so we really need to thin out some of the weaker ones. 
Yeah, en <laughs> enjoy the small ones. Okay, some of those you can eat, but you really want to, to prevent disease, open up the space so there's a lot less carrots that have the chance to grow bigger. So, it's a bit of a job, a bit of a job, Aww. but you get a good amount. We did too many, so thinning out is something that we're doing almost daily, um, which is great because then you get little mini carrots to eat, and they're so good when they're small. Do you want to pick out some more? Well, I think I, we need two. Yeah, and as they grow bigger, you really want to um, increase the amount of air in the area. Um, you want more ground for them to grow in so they're not as crowded, so you do want to thin them out. Um, like your beetroot leaves, you can actually eat these as well. Uh, That's enough for tonight? Yeah. Yeah, we don't want to take too many. Right. Another thing we're harvesting this time of year are our onions. Um, we've got our nine onions in here. You'll know when it's time because they're just starting to fall over. The tips of them are turning a little yellow and brown. And again, it's just the end of their life cycle. So we're going to dig them up. Um, they say a few days before you dig them up, you can just loosen the soil around the onion and then lift them up. What you need to do is dry them off for about two weeks and then they're stored, they're cured um, for a long period of time. Underneath and just lift it like that. There you go. Okay. What you want to do is cut the roots and you want to cut the leaves off as well. Unless you're doing a plait or a braid, um, you can leave the leaves on. But what's really important is that when you store them that they're not touching and you don't bang them up um, against each other because that causes rot and uh, bruises. Uh, hello everybody, I hope you see again soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Show the camera. Look what Dora. I go to Dora in my garden. Dora was staying on.